All right, guys. This is coffee, and I'm gonna be honest with you. For the rest of the month, I'm gonna answer the rest of the questions that I have. I'm not gonna be able to take any more new questions that I will answer on video. What I will do though, is I will reply to your comments in time and or they can be topics for live streams. So if you have a question, definitely feel free to ask your question down below and maybe it'll be become a live stream topic early for next year. Get ready. All right, welcome back. Another year, not another day, but another video and I'm drinking more coffee. I had to lay off on the beer only because I have to film all of these videos that I'm gonna be filming and I have about 10 of them I need to do so sorry if you wanted to see drunk dash you have to come back for a live stream speaking of which i go live wednesday nights 9 p.m eastern the first hour we talk about something barbecue or barbecue business related the second hour we talk about anything you want bring a refreshing beverage it could be coffee or it could be not coffee and we hang out so if you want to join us feel free. So today's question comes from Victoria Henderson. Victoria is new to the channel, but she has, she's a patron. She became a patron and she has a great question. She says, another awesome video, vi another awesome video. You're going to get tired of me saying that it is what it is. She says, question, are there any bad habits? Beginner intermediate should nip in the bud. First thing I will say before I keep reading, do not squeeze your brisket. Why do you work on cooking brisket for X number of hours and then you go ahead and you squeeze the moisture that you try to or that you hopefully retained in that brisket? Don't squeeze it out. Don't squeeze like the Charmin, but don't squeeze your brisket, okay? That being said, uh, next thing, habits we should strengthen from the get-go. I'm not completely green, but I love learning from those who got there first. So another bad habit I see people doing all the time is just simple human nature. Stop looking. Uh, Myra Mixon says, if you're looking, you ain't cooking. I mean, I know he's not the only one that says it, but he's one of the more popular folks that say it. And he says it a lot. Stop looking at your food is another bad habit that we have as we are cooking or as we are doing whatever we are doing. Trust the process. Say to yourself, I'm going to open up the smoker every hour. Not every time you put a piece of wood in, which could be every half an hour or every time you th the wind blows the wrong direction. No, get into a habit of stretching out the times you peek into the smoker to like in the beginning, there might be every half an hour. So you can kind of see what's going on. But towards the end, I open up my smoker when I put my food in. I open up my smoker when I'm about to wrap my food and I open up my smoker again when I am going to take the food out. That's it. So stop looking at your at your food. Next thing is uh, for habit to strengthen, use instant read thermometers. Instant read thermometers will save your, your butt and it will, will help to make your food more consistent. If you get to a certain temperature and you understand or you know how that probe feels when that meat hits that certain temperature, you can repeat that same temperature and that same feel all the time. Does the temperature always equate to the same feel? No, but what you can do is you can get to the point where you can know what the feeling is. Like they say a hot knife through butter or like, you know, one of those things where the, the probe just, it just, it glides right in. That's what she said. And there's no other way to explain it other than to do it. And I highly recommend, even if you don't have a, a temperature probe, you can use a toothpick to see if the meat that you're cooking is tender enough or not just poke that meat not like put pinholes in it but you're gonna just i know i'm a little rambly here just poke and prod your meat push and touch and see how if it, how it feels it's got to feel right and then it'll be right and if it doesn't feel right then it probably isn't right and you just kind of have to again trust the process 
and getting it done or in getting it done. All right. So thank you, Victoria, so very much for asking your question. If you have not already subscribed, please do. I do this whole Ask a Dash series. It seems like this is a recurring thing in December. Next year, I'm going to start a little earlier as far as asking my questions or asking you for questions and getting questions from you so that I can film them and edit them in a more timely manner. I'm going to have to like knock these last couple out. And obviously, you see I'm not in the garage. It is below freezing right now outside. And I had to get this done and I couldn't be outside, not for this long of time. So thank you guys so very much as always for watching. Again, please do subscribe if you haven't, hit that thumbs up down below. And uh, like I said, leave a comment and maybe I will be able to answer your question either obviously via in the comments or it could be an upcoming live stream topic. So thank you guys again. I'll see you in the next one. Well, bye, baby. <laughs>